Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com. So check it out. As you know, or may not know, Rigid.ink sent me some filament with my to, to work on some of my projects, but they also sent me this that they wanted me to give in a, like a direct review on. And I said, all right. So this is PLA Plus. This is the red edition. Um, so what I wanted to do is thoroughly test this stuff out. So that's what I did. I've been running this stuff like crazy. I'm taking this out of the bag that comes with the spool. That's pretty cool. I've used uh, over half of this spool. And so far, it's interesting stuff. So let's jump on into all my thoughts and concerns. All right, so here is a lot of the different pieces and parts and things that I printed out and tested a whole bunch of things. This one got smashed. Anyway, so first of all, let's look at the filament. Now, this stuff appears like it has little fibers in it, which makes it really strong. So if we bend it, you can kind of twist it and you can actually get it to break. But it wants to sort of stretch. Okay, it wants to sort of stretch and pull instead of actually like breaking as you can see there. So what that means is it's actually got little fibers in it. And so it's sort of a soft material because of that reason. And it's not quite as stiff as normal PLA. Here's normal PLA. This stuff is a lot, a lot, a lot more fragile. So that's just some generic PLA. Now one of the problems that I was having because of the way my extruder was designed is I was having this sort of issue where it was heating up too much and smashing in there but I have that exact same problem with normal PLA so that's just my design of my hot end so I will exclude that from this testing because it's probably just my fault now I had quite a bit of problems in the beginning as you can see here I tried to print a lot of these and a lot of them just didn't quite turn out very well some of these turned out really well and some others I had just so many different problems and that was just part of tuning. Once I got it tuned, I could actually produce some pretty nice prints, as you can see here. This is a funnel. So, one of the things I really liked about this filament is that it's actually, like, it has some flexible to it, but not enough to, uh, you know, actually be a problem. So, for instance, this part has some tape on it because I got ink on it. But this part right here actually has a, a flexible center and that way I can put something in here and I can clamp it down. That's the whole purpose behind this piece. So this stuff, uh, like for instance, I wouldn't be making um, parts for my printer, such as the end effector holder, because it's too flexible. Um, but for parts that maybe have a lot of vibration or something, and a tiny bit of flexible, um, you know, a tiny bit of flex is okay, then uh, yeah, I say it's great for that. Here's a piece... Uh, Here's a bottom piece. So I had mm, not the best, not the best um, luck with the layer adhesion. That's only like two layers thin right there, maybe three. So I didn't have the best luck with layer adhesion, and that's really the only thing I can you know sort of complain about. So again, I was having some issues here, and I couldn't really figure it out. And I don't think it's the filament. That's for sure. I'm 99% sure it's just my uh, it's just my hot end because some of this turned out really really nice. So as you can see, you know that's poor printing right there. Now this turned out really good. This whole piece turned out really nice. And, and what I kind of want to do is just you know I want to kind of smash it. I want to see like what it does. And you can see most of it's layer adhesion. As far as, uh, as far as one of these strips breaking this way, that's much, 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 much tougher. And even then, it broke right at the seam. So if you split the seam up, you know, this stuff is really, really tough. But yet, it has some flexibility to it. So here, this piece is, you know, you can see the stringing on this piece. Um, I had quite a bit of stringing on a lot of my stuff, and I don't, you know... That, that's one of the, the drawbacks is the stringing of this filament, which was sort of not as, you know, not as good as some others, but PLA in general, and sometimes it has some stringing, depends on how you calibrate it and stuff too. But uh, in general, I wanted to put this stuff to a real world use, 
and actually see how you know strong it is. And there you can see that's a that's a layer adhesion problem. And uh, you know, of course, this way I I can't even tear it. But the other way, it just splits right off. All layer adhesion right there. So look at this piece. This was a smashed piece. This used to look like a little man. Let's jump on into that footage. Oh, goodbye little friend. Ah, well, I'd have to say that fared pretty well. It's not too shabby. It's definitely uh, kind of sad now, but uh, it's still held together really well. All right, well, even though it's smashed pretty good, it's actually still quite together. I'm pleasantly, pleasantly pleased with that. You can see how it's sort of flexible but doesn't really break. Unlike normal PLA which would probably just shatter or be so stiff you couldn't bend it. Alright, well as you can see again the only real thing I had problems here was layer adhesion. And even then, this was this was a really, really good print. It's really solid. And layer adhesion was definitely my biggest complaint with this filament. But for a solid piece like this, which I was using on my OSD to hold the cutter, you know, this piece needs to hold up to a little vibration, and it's perfect for that. I think if I'd print this piece in PLA, or even ABS, it would start to uh, eventually crack. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so black is always hard to see, but if you look right there, you can see that fracture crack. Now, I, I just absolutely don't believe that the red PLA plus from Rigid.ink would have that problem. This is ABS. I have a feeling that PLA over time would do that, and that's because that's because there's vibration. Okay, this whole thing can actually move a little bit, and there's a little vibration, and over time, that stress crack forms. And it, it always forms. So I imagine the PLA Plus would not do that. So far my tests have shown that it, it will not crack like this, but uh, you never know. Alright, so that cracking I was talking about, look at this. So this piece actually gets pushed out, right? And as you can see, that right there is not a crack. It's not actually cracking. What's happening right there is the plastic is stretching. You see that? And that took a lot of force to actually break. But as you can see, layer adhesion is my biggest problem. Just haven't had good luck with layer adhesion. But as far as that stretching, that would stretch pretty far because it's got the little fibers in there. Where on my 3D printer over there, it's cracked. It's completely disconnected. And a serious, serious issue. So, when printing a piece like this that's supposed to snap into the back of another one like this. Alright, again my biggest issue was layer adhesion okay so these just didn't seem to stick well and I've had that problem with all of the prints I've done with this now as far as like the durability I mean I can't even smash that that is some really good stuff look at that layer adhesion so yeah all comes down to that at the moment all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that review. I hope it was actually helpful for you. Um, I did a bunch, a bunch of testing with all kinds of stuff, and I put it to real-world use. And that's kind of what I want to do when I do filament reviews. I don't want to just grab a sample, print a few things, and go, oh, it looks pretty. I want to actually use it on real things. So, bottom line, it doesn't have great layer adhesion. That could potentially be due to my printer, but I, I, I don't think it is. I think it actually just doesn't have that great layer adhesion. But it's got really, really, really great strength. This stuff 
has already been through the extruder, so it has the little notches on it. You can see it right there. All right, but if I try to actually pull this stuff and break it, I mean, even if I bend it, look, I've kinked it. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to stretch it. You know, it's, what it does, I'll show you, you can see it just stretches and then it breaks. And that little bit of stretching with those fibers that are inside of there really make this stuff a really tough material. So, yeah, I think this material is, uh, is good for particular purposes and I really, really, really appreciate Rigid.ink. This is what's inside the box, by the way. <laughs> you get a nice card that tells you exactly what temperatures and where to get some help at and, you know, the recommendations. Here's the recommendations. And now what's pretty cool about this is you can take this card that they give you, you can roll it up, and you can stick it through the box, okay, with these holes right here, all right? So you actually put your spool right inside there on them holes, and then even the top has a little place where you can pull the filament out, all right? Now why I think that's pretty cool is because what I did with another one is I took this exact box and I wrapped saran wrap around it completely and put a bunch of uh, dry right stuff in there to dry out all the uh, silicon beads, to dry out all the uh, moisture with inside this box and that keeps me from having to put it in some special container and worrying about it so I can just go ahead and take it right out of there and put it right in there. And if you don't like that idea, again, this comes vacuum sealed by the way, but again they come with this really cool you know, really nice bag that you can put this filament in. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. So that's all I got for you. I hope this video was helpful. And I really, really, really appreciate the people at Rigid.ink that supported this video along with the OSD build, which is not that one. It's at home. So yeah, more reviews soon uh, or whenever I get to them. Um, I have a few other different types of material that I've been using that, again, I'll do a real review on. This is my personal opinion of what I think about this stuff. So, yep, links and everything in the description. If you'd like to get a roll, tell them I sent you. Peace out.